four weeks until the best ball playoffs begin. Let's jump into week 11. What's going on, everybody? Finding Value Fantasy back again. Week 11, build and battle. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're back at it again. Back at it again. I think next week or the week after that, probably, probably the week after that, I'll do a little little roundup, round two. Um, and then obviously I'll review my advanced teams, you know, here in like week 14, 15. So we're down the home stretch already, which is crazy because I feel like the season just started. And the best thing about it is the fact that we're going to continue to, you know, we'll be here all summer long, grinding, you know, drafting, stuff like that. And, you know, all the off season will be drafting as well occasionally. Um, and we'll just be right back into it soon enough. So um, it doesn't ever stop here, but it's a lot of fun. Can't really, can't really stress that enough. This is just a blast to do. Drafting on underdog, building lineups, making best ball teams, drafting on other sites. It's all fun. Fun stuff. Let's see here. Pull up the... Throw that on. Throw. Through. Let's do this one. I haven't done this one in a while. 101, baby. <clears throat> well, I don't have a Tyreek in Dog Bowl, I don't think. Do I just go Tyreek here instead? I think I'm going to. I already have a CMC share. But maybe he's the guy you need this week at running back. I don't want to get squeezed out of receiver. I think Tyreek's like a like a 20 point floor guy almost most weeks. So I'm just gonna grab Tyreek instead here. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to say what I want to do. McCaffrey's going to get at least 20, could get 30, could even get 40. I'm going to go Tyreek. Uh, already, I, I just kind of like getting exposure wise, I'd like to get like all these players at the top. So if CMC is the guy you need, I'm going to be kicking myself for taking Tyreek here, but I think it's uh, not a bad idea just to grab the, grab the other guys here. Um, Yeah. Hope everyone's having a good week. I've had a great week so far. I've been enjoying it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, can't really complain, man. Football's about to be on. Could not be happier, man. It's a great Sunday. So it's been a good time with the family this week. It's been, it's been a good time. Good stuff. Let me go ahead and make a post. On Twitterverse here, or the Xverse, whatever you want to call it, um, just to so I'll put it up there. This YouTube link up. Okay. All right. 
My apologies, should have done that beforehand, but we're not professionals, but I got the gates. I gotta do, I gotta do better there. Should have put this out right away. Um, let's go ahead and start right here. Right now, that and that. We'll start putting some more posts out there. Um, I'll definitely be talking about my favorite teams. Just, you know, just to put it out there. Teams that I like in my portfolio. <laughs> lots, of, lots to unpack from last week, too. I mean, the injuries. Uh, Joe Burrow out for the season. Most likely... Most likely, uh, Andrew's out for the season as well. Just crazy stuff, man. I'll do that. Looks good. All right, got that done. Um, so yeah. All right, we're back at it. Sorry for the delay. A chain, A chain is fully activated, ready to go. Um, I'm big on A chain this week. A couple other guys I like this week are. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. Obviously, I like Cover Boy. You got Brees. I think Brees is a good play. I think that game has some sneaky upside to be a little bit more interesting than anticipated. Obviously, we has a. We got Jets Buffalo with a 39 and a half total. Like it's not not very pretty, but. The Bills are expected to put up some points, and I think I think it's a good bounce back spot for Josh Allen, um, cover boy. Uh, I think he's in a good spot to just bounce back and hopefully, uh, you know, make a plus. Honestly, like I don't see why not. I don't see why it can't happen. Um, but I mean, I think I think the Jets defense is beatable. Obviously, it's a very strong, strong defense, and they may just hold them. It might be a low scoring game, but I think I think that's what fireworks. And I'm pretty confident that they're gonna put up three touchdowns probably. And then you know, we'll see what happens with the Jets. The Jets are gonna have some noise. We get Brees Hall or Drew Wilson going back on the other side. Could be interesting. So I'm pretty high on Brees and Garrett Wilson both right now. All right. We can rip this. He's probably gonna take Josh Allen. <laughs> um, might be able to rip. What if I can get Puka? Get Tyreek Puka and like DJ Moore. I feel pretty good about things because I have some running backs late that I feel pretty strong about. Obviously, not as great as the ones at the top. I mean, that's how it works. But got a annual alarm to go off during the <laughs> during the video. I'm like pretty confident he's gonna take Josh Allen or Kincaid here. Leave me Puka. Come on. I wanna get a Puka share. And Josh Jacobs isn't a bad play either, right? I mean, I don't have a lot of Josh Jacobs this week. I probably should take some. Dick Stroud. I kind of like just going Puka Debo here. Kind of, it's kind of tempting. Although Josh Jacobs is a great play. I'm going to go Jacobs and Puka. We don't have any points Jacobs is going to get, but I think he's a, I mean, he should have goal line work. Maybe get a touchdown. I think it makes sense. I really haven't took much Jacobs this week, and I think that's kind of a mistake. I don't think he is in a great spot. Honestly, I think they're going to, Miami's going to be up like 21-0 at half, at least. And I think they're just going to have to like throw the rest of the game. And I don't know if he's going to check it down every time. He might, but I don't think we have a big enough sample to like tell us like, oh, he just, Aiden O'Connell only dumps off to Josh Jacobs and he doesn't do anything else. Probably a good chance he will a few times, but I don't think it'll be like every, all game long. Like I just don't, I don't see that. <clears throat> Devontae Adams will get more work. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> let's, let's unpack a little bit of this while, while we're waiting here. I might I might throw up the other. I'm gonna throw up my other one here while I'm in the middle of this. Um, do they have a pick? Do they have the? Oh, they don't have the contest. I like playing on the NBA yet. Okay, we'll hop in another one. Huh? Developer mode. I don't know what that is. What happened to the screen? That's what happened. I was wondering why it changed. There we go. I was like, why am I having to adjust this? I just changed it. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. <clears throat> now you can see the tabs. I was scrolling through tabs. I'm just uh, tripping. There we go. Let me in. Cool. I'll do a second dog ball on the side just to have two things going at once because these things go like snail's pace. Um, anyways, <clears throat> what I was saying is that I think there's some pretty interesting stuff to unpack just this week. I've been trying to keep like best ball notes and just notes in general. I think there's a lot to be said about the, the quarter position this year. Um, obviously, what we can take away right now is that there's so many quarterback injuries we got burrow we got a rich we got cousins watson out for the season uh those are three mid-range guys obviously uh burrow was a little bit earlier um yeah it's it's, it's crazy so and then a couple late guys that probably aren't gonna play tan hill and jimmy um i think i think that what we're going to take away from that is like, oh, I need to draft more quarterbacks or I need to be safer about quarterback or elite quarterback is the only way. And I, I just, I think that'll be a mistake next year. We make uh that get one one again. Oh my God. I got Tyree kill again. Ah, oh, no, I wish it took CMC. Oh, so I got a lamb this time. No, I'll take another, I'll take another week share. I've been fading lamb too much recently. Um, We'll see what happens this week. Hopefully I can get away with it. Um, anyways, um, I think that'll be a mistake because if you kind of look back at what happened this year, if, you know, we can't assume health for these elite guys and there's still, I mean, one elite guy already went down. I mean, that's just, and then fields missed games already. Like it could happen again, but realistically, if that mid-range quarterback was still healthy, Cousins, well, Daniel Jones was off for the season, other mid-range guy, but Cousins and Averich would single-handedly be like bringing teams to the top right now, um, just because, and they still are. Like I have a team, I have a team that is, I think it's this one. Yeah, this team has been in first place for like the last three weeks without a quarterback, and this team is just amazing. Unfortunately, not going to get there, but it might advance, honestly. But AJ Brown Cup, Debo, Keenan Allen. Um, let me move the camera. There you go. AJ Brown Cup, T Keenan Allen, Debo, Dotson, Addison, Kincaid, Laporta, Musgrave. Apps, like, I don't have a tight end room like that. That tight end room is so fun. Kelsey Ingram, Zach Moss, obviously a hit early. Ty Chandler still in the mix. Chuba. Ty J, Swift, White, Average Cousins. Like, I think I posted this one on X as well, but this team's sick, dude. Sad is what it is. One thing I do do notice about my entries, so you see my advance rate, 18.2, not terrible. Um, not great. Not exactly where I want. I'm hoping to get to 25% by the end of the season, which I think it's possible. But uh, it's interesting to see, like, this gap of my teams where they're, like, some of them are advancing, some of them aren't. Um, but pretty cool. We're not that far behind. Like we're within like 25 points of, you know, another 10 teams, probably another eight teams getting through. So let's see my lowest team that like still has a chance. This one, 33, 32 points back, 33, 37 points back. Let's see. Russ Howell, ETN, Dobbins, Penny. Ah, oh, this team's probably dusted. Good receivers though. Oh, Friar Moose Dulcich. Yeah, that's why I'm 37 points back. 
Fireman's back at least. Dulcet should come back. But yeah, I have some teams in the mix here. I'll, I'll go over some more of those later, but this, this tool is awesome. Shout out to um, Patrick Donovan. An awesome, awesome tool. All right. Back at it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just think that mid-range quarterback is like extremely valuable and something to remember. We, we had some major hits there that just didn't get there because of injury. And I think that's something to, that we got to remember next year. And I think elite quarterback might bounce down a little bit because they really haven't smashed that hard this year. But they've been valuable. Josh Allen's been super valuable. Hurts has been amazing. Uh, Mahomes has been, you know, solid every week. So Lamar's been generally solid most weeks. Fields when he plays has been decent. All right. Could go after Musgrave. I could go for Fryermuth. Don't have any Fryermuth yet. Of oh, DK's here. What about Lockett? Is he playing? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I think Metcalf makes some sense here. I'm actually surprised he's still here. It feels like a pretty big tier jump to me. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, give me Metcalf here. I'm not a big Metcalf guy, but I'm, I'm down to take him there. Um, as a bring back to my Rams stuff, if the Rams are scoring points, hopefully Metcalf will be involved more than usually. Mm. Do I go Herbert and Parham? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a mistake. <clears throat> it's fine. Yeah, that was a big mistake there. I don't want to do that. I, I mean, I fudged it. Should have been taking Herbert there. In this room, he might still fall to me, but really not not smart stuff for me. Not, not smart. Let's see. So no one with a... No one with Chargers has, well, I might get lucky. We'll see. It's not the end of the world if I get Parham without Herbert because I'm just like, okay, betting on a couple touchdowns and betting against Keenan Allen. But, like, if you're taking Parham, like, you kind of want to have Herbert with them because you're really betting on touchdowns anyway. So, Everett's out this week. I think it makes sense. They're going to score some points in my opinion, but it's not, not really what I'd like to do. But I'll, I might take Jordan Love if I don't get him. You know, honestly, I'll probably take like, I'll probably take like Gino if I don't get him, to be honest. But it's okay. <clears throat> honestly, I'm fine with it. I just, I just optimally, you'd want to pick the quarterback first and wait for him to come back. But I might be able to get him back. We'll see. <clears throat> just a little macro strategy there. Oh, I'm getting IUQ. I'll be sick. Give me IUQ. Let's go. Love that. Love that. Tyreek Ayuk feels great. Absolutely feels great. Um, B Rob's a pretty awesome play this week. You can get Evans on the bring back. I think one of my takes as well is I think the Bucks game is gonna be pretty not competitive, but like Bucks are gonna score some points. So I think one of Evans or Goblin will get there, or Auden or White. Is it Pollard time here? Mm. Say Pollard. Pollard has been like rising up the board, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind Pollard. I think, well, <laughs> we've been saying this for a few weeks that it should be the week for Pollard, but We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. A um, couple other plays I like a lot this week. I'm, I'm pretty big on... I was trying to get more Puka shares, so I'm glad I did get one there. 
Um, I think Gabe is worth a look. Dotson, I think, is a good bounce back guy. JSN's like always a decent click, decent click. Obviously, better if like want to block it or Metcalf are out. Looks like they're not. I think QJ, you know, has a chance to score some touchdowns. Jordan Love is sneaky. Um, one of my favorite running back plays is Jerome Ford, but I don't have like any of them. Um, which I think I'm fine with. I don't really see him breaking the slate, but I just see I see him pretty. I see him as a pretty strong click. This is a guy I need more of. I might take him this draft. If I can get Goff, I might go for it. We'll see if I'm able to get Goff. I think this is the guy I need to be taking more. Like, I'm, I'm making a mistake not taking more of him. Like, I need a, I need a commit. Herbert's still there. Good. Is he going to come back? Beautiful. Okay, this, as long as this guy doesn't take Herbert, I get him. So... Hopefully we can get him. Um, I think Javis Williams is pretty fun to click this week. He he's been involved. He made some nice plays last week on like not plays that like you see as like oh this guy made a huge play this week. Like no, he made like some plays like for the team that you know the Lions just like absolutely love that kind of stuff. So my opinion, I think things are looking up for him. Some better days ahead for him, in my opinion. So I'm pretty excited for him. Hoping, I mean, he's a he's a pretty perfect click for this kind of stuff. It's like he either gets there or he doesn't. He's catching a long bomb, or he's like not really doing much for you. So I think it I think it makes a ton of sense. There's a world where I get golf commit here. There's a world where I get golf commit here. Hopefully, it's a world I'm living in. Because I kind of want this. I want this pairing. Like I, I just don't have it. And I want it. I want at least one. But we'll see if we can get it. This Ayuk, Ayuk Hill start is pretty fun. There's Jerome Ford going. He's also underdrafted. Like I think this game, like starting DTR quarterback, they're gonna run it like a hundred times. <laughs> both teams total. I think like it's gonna be like sixty carries like combined from both teams. Like I think. So I think Drum Ford is like clearly the lead dog there. Obviously, Hunt gets goal line work too, but like I don't know, it just makes sense to me. So I'm gonna get Herbert. So it did work out. I was just a little bit worried I wasn't gonna get him, but I will get Herbert with the last pick here. So that feels good. Get my Parham Herbert stack with Jacobs, <clears throat> Tyree Kill, Puka, and DK Metcalf at receiver. Herbert, I feel better about his upside at QB. So I'm very happy to get him instead. So. I don't know, it's possible. But what I'm worried, I'm more worried about Komet getting grabbed here. I mean, there's three guys that can get quarterback. This guy might take him off. This guy might take off, actually. Yeah, he might take off. Probably will. I could still do the mini correlation if I want without Goff. I would have to take like Purdy, I guess. Like go Purdy, Komet. JMO. It's not bad. All right, we'll take Herbert here as last pick. <clears throat> so that's that draft. Feels pretty good. Got Tyree Puka, Metcalf, Jacobs, Parham, and Herbert at quarterback. All right, let's go back here. <clears throat> A couple other things I like. I think Detroit, Detroit Chicago game has like little to no chance of like failing, in my opinion. I think there's going to be points on both sides, like by far. So I really like that game environment. I think it's a great one. Obviously the highest total on the slate. Houston's Houston, Arizona. I feel the same about, um, in a sense, Miami, I think it's Miami's an unstoppable force. Um, this game could definitely disappoint this Tennessee Jacksonville game. Now we'll see what happens, but I, th I think there's a chance that could disappoint in a big way. Um, it's just a, two teams that, don't really want to throw that much. I mean, I think they just want to they want to run the ball more. And obviously, Will Levis will swing it, but I, I just I don't know. Game. I think the Jags are going to have a pretty good game. Um, hopefully, a bounce back spot for their passing attack. Come on, give it to me. A 
We'll see if we get it. I have my fingers crossed, but uh, I'm not too confident it'll come to me. Dang it. I could... Ah! Pain. Pain. All right. Um... Hmm. Hey, give me Christian Kirk here. And then where do I want to go at QB? I go like Howl. Do I want to go with like the mini? I go or go go T Law with Kirk. T Law's upside has just been awful this year though. How Logan Thomas isn't too bad. Man, this is kind of rough. Um, let's go Jordan Love Musgrave. That's fun. Um, I have a Jordan Love team already, but I'll do another one. I'll probably do another dog pull just so I can get a GMO share. Um, so I think he's a he's a good click at the end of these. I might do a couple more battle royale as well. But <clears throat> anyways, let's let's swap over to so this team is going to be most likely Tony Power, Tyree Kill, Ayuk, Christian Kirk, Luke Musgrave, and uh, Jordan Love. So pretty fun there. Let's go back to this uh, fantasy life game hub here. This Rams game, wow! So that line did move a bunch. I think Seattle's favored early, and then like all the information and in the news, like this game is like very sneaky. Like this game should be really good. I hope the Rams come back and have a good game. Um, so this game should be really awesome to watch. This Rams game. Like I said, this game has sneaky upside. The Bills Jets, I think, has some sneaky upside. The 49ers are going to score like a good amount of points, and uh, I think I think one of Godwin or Evans will get there this week. Um, I'm kind of worried about this game. Like I I I think the Commanders are going to win, but like I think it might be pretty ugly, like even uglier than the, the total. Like I think the Commanders might score like three touchdowns. Like it might be like a thirty total type game. Like it's like. 21 to 7 or something like that like i don't know 24 to 7 something like that i, I just don't i don't know it doesn't scream to me a spot where the, the commanders are just going to sling it and just go down the field easily on them i just think it'll be like an ugly gross game um that being said i like you know i like b rob i like mclaurin i like dotson I like how logan thomas all those guys seem fine um really don't like anyone on the giant side i think <clears throat> one of them could get there slayton wandale one of them might get there Barkley, I guess, is possible. I like Davante Adams a lot. <laughs> Davante Adams a lot is the bring back on this game. Um, got a good amount of him this week. I think he's uh, I think he's due. So they say he's due for a good week. So yeah, this game is the most interesting to me because I don't know. Like, this is the most chalky game in in DraftKings this week. And we just don't know what's gonna happen. Like no one really knows. Like we just we're just kind of throwing darts. I think the funny thing is Stroud is lower owned than Kyler. Don't know if that should be the case. Uh, you could make a case for like going attacking through James Conner. Obviously, I prefer, you know, in my own opinion, I, I hope that Kyler goes off and has a good game, just like for my shares and stuff like that. But um, I think there's a good chance that like this game could like disappoint a little bit. But I think there's gonna be points on both sides regardless. It's just like. Is it the game you need? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think Detroit, Detroit, Chicago has a better chance of being the game you need, so to speak. So hard to say, kind of hard to say, but I, I think it's a, I think it's an interesting game. <clears throat> I think James Cotter could could have a pretty good week as well. Like those, the running game, it could just be like a running game type thing, but. They're both gonna throw the ball. They're both great throw, like <laughs> good, good passing attacks. So I think it should be interesting. Obviously, Michael Wilson's out this week, so just gonna co consolidate between Trey McBride, Rondell Moore, and Marquise Brown. 
So we'll look at last week's team real quick. We got Brock Purdy, Aaron Jones, Joe Mixon, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, Calvin Ridley, Ferguson, Pickens, Bengals defense as our team. Obviously, you could see we didn't have any good finishes in this tournament last week. Hopefully, we get a better finish. I had I had a great day in Pickums last week. Had a rough day in DFS. So, but Pickums absolutely saved my day. So it was it was great. Very very happy about that. So let's hop in and build a new team here. Our battle, yeah. Build a new build a new team here. All right. So we'll go start QB. We're going to go ahead and run with, I mean, hey, I could play JMO on DraftKings also. So I think I'm going to, in fact. Let's have some fun. We'll do Fields, DJ Moore, Komet, Fields Double. With Jameson Williams, bring back. Can I go Gibbs as well? Go Gibbs a Monroe? I think Gibbs makes sense. Mm. Nah, Gibbs makes sense. Let's do this. This is a fun way to start the build. I think it's actually kind of unique too. Like, not many people do it feels double, and then no one's playing JMO. And I don't know. I actually don't know the Gibbs exposure right now, but we're gonna just vibe with it. Jordan Love's still here. Cool. Um. All right. So let's see if we want to pick and choose a piece from this game. I assume Singletary is gonna be relatively chalky. He doesn't really get pass catching work, which is my one concern. Love Nico Collins this week as well. Um, yeah, this is gross. I think it's not not unwise. It's pretty smart to like take a piece from this game, whether you want to go chalky or not. I don't know, but I think it's pretty smart to take a piece. Like, is Robert Woods in play this week? I don't think he's got the A dot. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough. Rondale feels pretty good, though. Ron, chalk, chalk Rondale. Don't don't love it, but I think it's fine. Let's take a look at defenses here. The Jets defense is probably going to be the chalk. I think I'm going to stay away from that. I like the Rams defense, too. Hmm. So Washington defense is 3,600. I think the Packers defense is pretty good too. Herbert is not unknown to make mistakes. Yeah, let's you can't play the Raiders defense. I don't I just I don't know about that one, man. You could play the game as like Houston, like or Kyler takes like sacks, so. I don't hate that taking it as like a that kind of route either. I think it's a good week to pay up a little bit. Let's go Browns D. I have a lot of salary left, so let's go with that. Um uh, so you can get us to A chan at sixty six hundred and also get to CMC or Digs. A chain Tyreek there. I'm gonna stop there. So I don't have any pieces of the late game. Cup is so underpriced. Holy moly. There's no there's no running backs in this range. Let's go, let's change this up. Let's just say fade that game. And let's let's keep building for other pieces here. So 
So maybe I will take A-Chan, and then I'll go up to 4,700 at quarterback or receive, receiver. And that gets me to Christian Watson as a one-off piece, low-owned. JSN as a one-off piece, low-owned. Oh, man, that's kind of gross. Um... Does playing JSN give me up to anything that I like? Give me the Cowboys defense. I feel like Cowboys defense is a good play to throw with Pollard instead. Bet on short fields. But, I mean, I don't know. Does Cowboys defense need a touchdown to get there? I don't think so. Probably not. I don't hate this. So, I get a little game sack. I get a little game sack with Chicago Detroit. And then I'm fading the first game, hoping it, it doesn't shoot out. I get the DJ Moore, I get the JSN. I don't think JSN's really a good click on it. Like, he's fine, but I don't think it makes that much sense. Hmm. I just don't really know what I'm, like, what I'm going to get from this. Jags defense is pretty good, too. Get the Deontay Johnson as a one-off play. Hope he just gets there on catches. Not a fun game to play a player, and honestly, like, do I really want to play a player in that game? Hmm. Hmm. This is this is rough. Let's go down to Miami. See what Miami defense looks like. Where'd they go? There they are. Does that do anything for us? Gives us to dubs. Which is funny because I prefer him any I prefer him anyways, but like a one off Dotson is kind of I think a one off from the Washington game makes a lot of sense. Kind of going off the sense I think they're gonna score three touchdowns, but they're not gonna break the slate. Um Yeah, let's do that. Let's go dots in there. Can we go up to 3,300? Does that change anything for our... We can go Chargers instead. I forgot that's such a good game against them. I kind of like Green Bay here a little more. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a good chance like Miami. They they, they could... This is actually smart here because like... Take Miami defense here. Maybe they get a touchdown. Take away from all the other pieces on the team. Obviously, they're still going to score, I think, on offense. But I think this makes some sense. So, <clears throat> on our DFS lineup, we're going to go with Justin Fields, Jameer Gibbs, Tony Pollard. Well, actually, let's just go to someone else now. We don't have to go to Pollard anymore. I'm not saying. But Kenneth Walker. Don't hate it. I'm going to go back to h -N. So now we're going to play it as short field, HN busts off some big runs. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Mm, yeah, this is good. I like this. So Fields, Gibbs, HN, DJ Moore, Jameson Williams, Jahan Dotson as a one off commit, Cup, and Dolphins. This is going in a 4,000 person tournament, 4K to first. So hopefully we can take it down. Um, yeah, been an awesome week, guys. Appreciate everyone hanging out. If you guys are watching after or before the fact or after the fact, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the teams, how your week went, if you're near the week's over already. Um, good luck in fantasy, DFS, um, best ball, shares, you know, everything like that. Always wishing the best for you guys. Pat F. Min Price. It's Pat F. Min Price. Let's see here. What's up, Adam? Welcome. Welcome. Just signing off here. Let's go ahead and look here. Where's that game at? Oh. Pat F is min price. I wonder if he'll be chalk or not. It's interesting.
Love me some Friar Muth. Hopefully he gets there for the shares. <laughs> There's always something to root for. Always have like best ball shares or something like that going on. So, yeah. Um, anyways, hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Oh, I don't want to close that yet. Let's go ahead and update that and then close it. Um, best of luck, everybody, in your shares and your uh, endeavors. Football, enjoy it. Enjoy it this week. Have a great Thanksgiving with family next week as well. Um, I'll probably be back at the end of next week. Um, yeah, I'll probably be back for a Sunday stuff for some Saturday, Sunday stuff. Um, and then after that, we'll be, we'll be down to the home stretch. We'll begin some more review type, uh, streams and drafts up, or, um, we'll be doing some playoff best ball. We'll be talking about our teams, um, advancing, bringing on our guests again to run back some more playoff best ball and also talk about our season long teams. Hopefully we'll get some of those through, get some late season sweats, but Anyways, no more rambling for me. Best of luck, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.